Are you ready to be exposed? I'm ready to expose that sap sucker. Are you ready to? I'm ready. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, okay, how about I go first? You can go first. Apparently, he's been exposing me with things. So, I, I recently met Kendall. Okay. And I knew of his YouTube and all that stuff and... Never watched it? Never watched it. Now I got a question first. And I've been thinking about this. Okay. Are you even subscribed to this podcast? I uh, am. Really? I think so, yeah. Are you subscribed I'm to subscribed, my actual channel? Yeah, all your stuff. No, you're not? Yeah. Wow. I don't... You don't watch anything. Yeah, I, I've, I've, I have watched stuff. I'm not like a consistent watcher. Anyways, this isn't about me. We're not exposing me. We're exposing <laughs> We're you. We're going to expose you too. Everybody's getting exposed. It's like, I'm subscribed. Nobody's I'm, safe out here. <laughs> I'm subscribed, but I've never actually watched them. I'm sure they're great. <laughs> Some um, people. Anyways, so Kendall, being an outdoorsy guy. Yeah. The first thing that... I learned about you that blew my mind is you hate country music. <laughs> it is true. And it's terrible. Give us no fraud. You can't be an outdoorsy guy who hates country music. Give us the breakdown. How, how can you how do you hate country music? All right. So that we're looking at two options here. We're looking at three options here. Either one, we're playing with the definition of hate, but we're not, because it is terrible. So now we're just dealing with two. Either the statement, either, um, I forgot what they were. I, I, one point, but other <laughs> than that, why do you hate country music? What's, what's the vibe? It's a terrible vibe. It's a, um, most country songs are, all right, let's start off with the backstory. As I grew up in Kentucky, as I still am and have never left. I've not even moved. My house is. You don't. You don't even know where another state is. <laughs> I've, and so I grew up. I went to school, and throughout Same. my school career, I was about middle school age, and I was like, "Listen, according to culture, I am supposed to listen to country music," and I did. I listened to country music for a solid three months. And I was like, dang, they, they never make new songs. And this Jason Aldean guy needs to calm down about his tractor. Okay. Is he the worst? Who, who's the who's the number one, the worst country music singer you've ever listened uh, to? I don't, I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying that I'm not a fan, but I'm, I'm just saying that Kane Brown See the worst? It it hurts my ears. He's like, the worst. I'm not saying the music's bad. The music's probably good. It's just I don't know. Like they turned the volume way too high on that one song, and it's like it's like the last country song or the last songs usually calm down because you know how songs end. Then it's like na 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 na. It's like come on, dude. That's not a good way to start a song. It's like turn the volume down and don't record that loud, dude. It literally hurts. How do you make your voice that loud? You just hurt my ears. That's what I'm saying. So. Is that empathy? That's empathy right there in play. Yeah. That's a social experience. I'm like, dude, I don't need, I, I've, I've not got past four seconds. And I'm like, oh, just get the song, get the song. It hurts. It hurts. I'm look. I'm driving. I'm looking at the radio. Do you know, it says what the names are. I see the name. I'm like, hurry, stop, 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 stop. Skip the song. I don't want to do that. There's another one. Kings and Queens. You ever heard that one? It's not country, but it hurts. It hurts. And it's terrible. But back to country. It's about trucks. Getting broken up with and dirt on boots. And it all just hits too close to home for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say that, but I'm gonna see I'm gonna say have you, have they ever veered away from those? Like do they know anything else? Even no. I, I listen to country music, so I'm getting a little little hurt. I'm just saying. Not those people. I don't listen to those people, but I mean Which ones? Who do I listen to or who do I not? Uh both. I don't listen to like Kane Brown or Jason Aldean. I listen to like Sturgill Simpson. I don't know who that is, but I bet he's old. He's not. Wow. Chris Stapleton. He did one with Justin Timberlake, <laughs> and it was a good one. That's real country. <laughs> That's real. Justin Timberlake, real country. <laughs> There's one I like. You know what? I'm not gonna say that. I don't know if there is. I just don't. I don't like the content. I get that. And what, can they? What, what what's the alternative? What what does KG listen to? For uh, all the people I like wondering the, out there, I like soundtracks. Moana's a hot one. 
gosh. It's, Give us a little something. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I've been laying at the end of the water long as I can remember never really knowing why. Yeah. I was Keep going. I can feel the perfect honor and I come back to the water. That's all. Too emotional. That's all for today. That's what I'm saying. Have I ever watched my water and cried? Yeah. No. Probably. No. They're, they, I, I, I've never watched my one and not cry. That's what I was trying to say. Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah. Okay, that's that's all a little bit off the well off the topic. Oh, that, yeah, that's country point, music. No, exposing KG. That's what we're talking about. We we've got this country music, and you're wrong. But before we do that, let me go ahead and give you some off the top country music song names, which I don't know exist, but because it's a country song, it's almost a guarantee there is. <laughs> Tractor Dirty girl. Tires. Guarantee. That's at least three songs. Country mud, songs named Dirty mud, Tires. Mud on the Tires by Brad mud Paisley. Mud on the Tires. That, that's you, a, you, you tell me the names and I'll find the songs for you. All right. She's gone. I think that just is. A, I think that is. That is a song. I guarantee it's two or three. Here's another one. Gone she, by she, Montgomery she, Gentry. Yeah. She done me dirty. Dude, if that one's not a song, it will be tomorrow. Like the names are so predictable. Tractor Girl. Tractor girl, guarantee it. <laughs> she thinks my tractor's sexy. That's it. That's all tractor. Here's girl a is. good title. Country boy. Okay, that was a bad one. That's a really bad one. I'm sorry for that one. But like, I think that's a Hank Williams one. Yeah. Let's see. You get what was it? It was a uh, getting broke up with, uh, boots and what was the other thing they always cry about in their song i think you said trucks or tractors one yeah trucks uh my big jacked up truck if that ain't a song i don't know what is speaking of big jacked up trucks do you drive a big (laughs) jacked up truck kg no Hmm. it's a it's it's an jacking up your truck is and this ain't even the thing that i I was is this a hot take coming this is a hot take jacking up your truck it oftentimes Messes up your truck because they made the truck with these specific capabilities and size size accessories for the truck. If they didn't want the truck to be four foot off the ground, if they wanted it to be four foot off the ground, they would have made it I think four foot to, off I, the I, ground. I think you're wrong on this one. You think so? Yeah, I think... It's like... Do you really need a truck that big? Do you need it? No. That's why they don't sell it to you like that, because you don't need it. But it's like, you have an opportunity to make it whatever you want it to be. Now, it's not for me. <laughs> and it's not... It's clearly not for you. You've got a problem with it. But, like, if someone wants to do that, that's that's their business, I guess. Does it really need to be four foot high, but the tires I that, that thin? I'm a tall guy. I'm like six one six two. And whenever I have to like put effort into getting into a truck, that's a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. Especially when the truck has never got off of the blacktop. I just like want to like. That's cry the problem for, like, here. Any person shorter than me has to try to get in that too. It's like you know what? Listen, if you go out there and it's a work truck, and you you go into the mud, sometimes you go have you something to get out. Maybe you go maybe you go on to some you know you, you bumpy roads. You get big tires, good suspension, maybe a little lift on it. That's good. Okay, you're less likely to bottom out. But if you if you drive it to school and back, you don't need tires that big, and yeah. it and that gas mileage. That's what I'm saying. They didn't. You have people accessorize their trucks and made them work less efficiently. Point hot point, take. Point, point number three. We're gonna come with point number three of exposing KG. There's a third one. KG. True or false? You don't like Cracker Barrel. That is false. I do like Cracker. That's there. I I don't know. There's been a lot of people saying that KG talks crap about the barrel. No. I'll get you some names. I no. mean, I, I'll Mm-mm. start naming names. They said they're saying I don't. No. 
Okay, we're going to go to number four. I like it. Here's what I get. I get the four sides. It's not even on the menu no more. I was like, um, it's not on the menu, but I said, uh, I want it anyways. And she said, okay. And so I get four sides. I didn't know. You don't, may not know you can do this, but you can get four oh, sides. I'm, I'm very, very comfortable with the Cracker Barrel menu. But past, it's not on the menu and, anymore. Past and present. Okay. You get four sides and I get four dumplings. Why don't you just get the regular dumplings? Because they have chicken in them, and the side doesn't have chicken in it. It's just dumplings. I don't care about chicken. I, I will say their chicken and dumplings, the chicken in it's not that good. That's what I'm saying. And it's like this big. It's like, dude, shred it up a little bit. Either that or it is just like a string. Yeah. It's no in between. It's either a big old chunk or a little bitty string. Yeah. Okay. Um. Every single day I've been around you. Yeah. You wear Crocs. Yes. Are Crocs country? You know what? Here's are, the thing. Are they, are they outdoorsy? I'm going straight back to the big to the jacked up truck. If you don't need <laughs> cowboy boots, I'm not even, I'm not I'm gonna hate on cowboy boots, okay? Maybe cow I mean, nobody's a cowboy. I'll let them slide. If you're wearing hardcore hunting boots to school for fashion. You know what? What? I'm going to go even further. I don't know if I even want to say it. It's kind say of scary. It. Well, now now you have to. I don't know. Cause I'm there's actually a pro- scared to say this There's one. a There's a pronoun because <clears throat> you said it. Let's hear it. So it's been named. All right. You ready for it? The questions, if they're ready for it, and if they're they got their hand, are they already? They could probably got their hand on the unsubscribe on the unsubscribe button. We're well, gonna have to get up to the mic because they need to hear this. <laughs> Man, if you're not working or going to church, I don't think you should be wearing boots. How do you? Any kind of boots. Like, what if you're, like, wearing, like, the fashionable, like, lace-up boots? That's what I was saying. Like, maybe cowboy boots slide, but steel toe? That's some. That might be somebody's style, and you're just cramping. Yeah. Maybe you just don't get it. I believe it's a topic I'm not well-educated in. We're going to have a video where you go to... Boot barn. Boot barn. And get get buy one, get four pair free. Buy one, get four pair free. And you have a sit down heart to heart with the sales clerk. Just and talk you, to him. You just tell them how you feel and they just air everything out. That's what you need. You know what, guys? Listen to this. Oh, gosh. I don't need to say this. If we can get 5,000 likes on this podcast, 2,500 likes on this podcast, I'm going to the boot barn and I'm going to wear boots. For a month straight, and I will, I will walk the walk. Okay, I will, and I will come out, and I'll see if my assumptions are correct. Because at this point, they are only assumptions. Everybody like right now, and I will verify this. I see him almost every day. I will be verifying this if we get the lots. If we get twenty five hundred lots, I will put myself into the scenario of wearing boots every day. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have said that. Every day. Every you, day uh, for a month. And I will see. You're going to have some sore ankles. I'm gonna, That's what I'm saying. Boots are not effective. Or are they? Is there something hidden I'm not knowing about? Because people who never wear Crocs make fun of Crocs. I'm one of those people. When they, when they wear Crocs, they're like, wow, this is sick. <laughs> if we don't get 2,500 likes, I'll you wear have to Crocs wear... every day for a month. No, if we get 3,000... Th- if we get 2,500... He will also wear Crocs for a month. He wears Crocs, I wear boots. Okay. That's going crazy. Crocs are awesome. Lou, they have four-wheel drive. And they don't weigh anything, but they do not protect you from any elements whatsoever. So if the grass is wet, you pretty much soak to your knees. Is there any kind of shoe that you just like? I feel like you've got a discrepancy with every kind of footwear. I like the Crocs that are like made to like look fancy and that don't have holes in them and they're a canvas. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, those are really good. Those also soak you. Okay, and I don't know how good they are at rock climbing. I've not tested them. Okay, the last point on exposing KG. Okay. And this is something you told me. 
you I know for a hundred percent fact that you offered up. I even think I don't even think, I don't even know if this is exposing. You tell me what you think. You said you don't like Mountain Dew. You said that's a country thing, and you said you hate Mountain Dew. This thing goes back. This back thing goes story. back. Every hatred you have has an origin story. Most do. Most do. It's never just like, oh, I don't like the way it tastes. No, no, no. Because I think about it. Except the boots. I don't have a reason to hate them. I just do. I just don't like boots. But this one has an origin story. I used to love Mountain Dew. <laughs> I used to love Mountain Dew. <laughs> I, had a, I had a mouthful of Coke when you said that. It's like a breakup story. <laughs> I used to drink it all the time. I'd I'd give I'd pay I'd give them money, and they they'd give me happiness. And then I went a day or two without drinking Mountain Dew, and then I drank it again, and I was like, "This is thick." Okay, okay. You get de- you get desensitized to it when you drink it hourly, and I was like, "This is thick." And it can't be good. It's like you broke up with a girlfriend, took some time off, you was going for a break, and then you went back to her and you were like, oh, this is terrible. Yeah. And then now you broke up for forever. Pretty much. Are you ever going to go back to Mountain Dew? I sure, if I do, might as well write it down. I'll be dead by 55. It's poison. (laughs) Hot take. Do you agree with that or not? Yes. Poison? You have to. I don't see how anybody can say that Mountain Dew's not poison. Mountain Dew is poison. I don't know about that. Really? Yeah, I don't know about that. Really? You're going to have to explain it to me for me to understand that. It's green. And yeah. you drink it. It's, no, it's green. That. It's food it's, color. It's, it glows it's just, in the dark. And whenever you drink it. It does not. When you drink it, it burns your throat. <laughs> That's. I don't. That's acid. I think you have an underlying medical condition. <laughs> I do. I don't think any of those were true. <laughs> so maybe you need to reevaluate some of the stuff you're saying about Mountain Dew. Because that's just a that's a potential sponsor. 5,000 likes slot. and I'll daily drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> no, I will. Out of, out of a boot. Out of a boot. Out of a boot. Oh, my gosh. 5,000 and I'll br- we'll bring some Mountain Dew back on the podcast. That's that's like five thousand, and we're not we're not doing a one Mountain Dew. We're gonna do like the full color collection, a, a trial test. We'll do there's a, like five or six. I don't even know how many there are right now, but you're gonna have to do like the walkthrough. I'll do the walkthrough. We're gonna blindfold you, and you're gonna. I hope we get about forty five. And then you're gonna marks. you're gonna do the do. I'm gonna do the do. I hope we get like forty five hundred that way, almost. But I don't have to do it. No, you want to do it. It is now. poison. Do the do. <laughs> Do you feel exposed? A little bit. Like I actually do. Like it, you usually I'm like, I don't really care. They would get over it. They'll they'll sleep on it and they'll be like, actually, that's not a big deal. The boots one, the truck one, the country music one, and especially the Mountain Dew one, those are actually kind of scary because those that's almost me directly attacking my audience. Yeah. Like that's you, that's you, like you owe them an apology. That's that is a lot of their f- four. You name four. What's your four favorite things in the world? It's those, and I just attacked them. You owe an apology. Uh, we'll see what you do with that log, bud. Okay, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see after the month of wearing boots. Any anything else? Now we're since it's all being aired out. Anything else on your heart that that you're living a lie? Well, no. Okay, hey. If you want to see the full podcast, click the first link in the description and check it out.